here. Hi. Okay, so this is for the final. Okay, okay. We so we cannot talk about chapter 4 right now. Chapter 4 is about probability, right? Mm -hmm. So first thing, you need to know the basic of probability. Okay, let's like three, three different kinds. The first one is relative frequency approximation. Approximation of probability, right? Mm -hmm. Relative frequency approximation meaning like your probability is always equal to the number of A happen over number of um, times the procedure repeated, times repeated, right? Mm -hmm. So, number of A happen, number of time repeated. Example is probability of getting head in three coin. Like how many times it happened, and then if repeated in three times, something like that. Mm -hmm. Right. The next one is classical approach. Classical approach. Basically, these two is the same, but in classical approach, the probability is equal to number of way a can occur over number of different outcome. So if you have a dice that has number in it, the, probab the probability can ask like what is the probability of odd number from like rolling one dice. So you have six different outcome right in mm -hmm. dice. Six different outcome and then probability of odd number is like three so you got three out of six. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is called the subjective. Subject, sub, subjective probability is like the easiest way. Subjective probability means since it's subjective, so it depends on you. Depends on your understanding. So it's subjective probability, but it has to make sense. And you have to know that probability is between zero probability and one. So zero means impossible to happen. So it will never happen. Right? So for example, you um, roll a dice and then you ask for the probability of getting number seven. Then you're going to put the probability zero because it's impossible to happen, right? Or one. One is it has to happen. It has to happen. So it's certain. Certainty. So it will happen. For example, like I have a bunch of pencil inside my 